how simple and easy. Just camera adjusting. So why? Here we go. Anyway, the second show, the Sunday show, the Sunday show, writer's bench. Yeah, you gotta love it. I see in the house. Anyway, I went painting and um, sent a bit of damage. They're cleaning the lines, the lines are getting cleaned. So, can't stop the buff. They brought it back. I think it's going to stay. Yeah. It's a shame that uh, everything went, but you just got to move forward. But, uh, there's a few people that passed away. Paddy Mills. From uh, oh, Paddy Astor from Wild Style. She done like the first feature film, hip hop film. Yeah, she passed away. Hey, good day, good day. She passed away. She was a beautiful lady. Mate, the uh, Wild Style movie was so famous. It was an uh, incredible job. Um, yeah, she'll be remembered forever. She's, uh, I, th- I forget her last words, like a uh, fun house. Be fun, be happy or something, she said. Be happy, you know? So... Positive words from that lady, even when how how old she got and stuff, and uh, yeah, it's um, saying that three four days ago she passed away. She'll be missed, and uh, Mister Nice. DJ Nice, he passed, he passed away from New York. And Mr. I C C E E from Big Daddy Kane, the DJ for Big Daddy Kane. He passed uh, away, so they're not saying how he died. So there's something, something's up. But, uh, yeah, not saying anything. But you got to respect the dead. God bless them. They've done a beautiful job. They contributed a lot to hip-hop. The growth of hip-hop. There's, um, in Newtown, I think, for all the suburbs in Sydney, there's only one that stands out for it's done the most graffiti and was first painted doing legals, was Road Emotions at Newtown, Federation Australian Road, owned by Terry Lewis. And, yeah. Um, RCA painted that wall and done ROPs for uh, Leo, the first graffiti writer to uh, pass away in 
the world. And done whole cars and yeah, everything got done. The valley down at St. Peter's, tombstones everywhere. But uh, I looked on Wikipedia for Newtown for graffiti and it mentions every single new war that's been painted. Every single one. But it doesn't mention the, the first war was got painted in Newtown. Well, what I've continued to paint and keep up and keep painting. I've, I've lost count of how many people I put up on that wall that have died. That I've done murals for because I don't do, I don't do legals. You know, I'm not, I'm not one for that. But uh, you've got to change with the times. And that's the fashion is. That's what it is. It's in behind me is what everyone wants in the house. And they're offering to pay big money for it. It's... Uh, it's pretty full on. Man, a lot of people, when I seen them, they're doing legals and they got the mask on because the fumes are dangerous. And they wear gloves because, you know, it, uh, the paint goes through your skin. And um, being careful, but they're not protecting their eyes. Their eyes are the most important thing. There's no, there's no protection. And uh, I don't know how many times I've gone painting and I wipe and clean my eyes, go forward into the inner of my eyes, so right into the inner part and pull out paint and be all different colours in my fingers. You know, I don't know how much damage that that would do, you know, like uh, no one wears any protective clothing or uh, uh, eye clothing to protect it, you know, like uh, clear glasses, pure clear glasses or something. I know my eyes are pretty bad. I there's teenage there's people in public school, half the people in public school have got glasses, wearing glasses because of the the rays from the iPhones and iPads and computers and all this stuff. All devices, every single device in the world are just destroying your eyes. It's uh, it's very harmful. You know, your eyes are very important. If you can't see, you know, like, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's one of the worst things in the world. I don't know, Switch, he's got his dog, he's, uh, he's blind, someone blinded the dog, you know, and he heard about it and, and, uh, took care of it and looks after it and takes it to the park and very kind of him. One of the most kindest things I've ever heard of. God bless him. He's, uh, he's a very special person. Still does graffiti. Still paints. Ah, it's cool. I think it's called Keeping It Real. Keeping it where it belongs. Yeah. I um gonna have to delete a lot of my videos because of uh, copyright claims. 
they uh, they're cracking down on YouTube. A lot of people have lost their channels, and people are giving me content. And I told them, I said, listen, I I can't upload it because I don't own the rights to the music, and the person. It has to be exclusively me. I can't show other people. I show other material. It's uh, it gets reposted. You just get in the shit for it. You just get into trouble. And I'll delete all my videos to keep my channel. I'm not changing my name. Where is Brixky? I don't know, brother. He's um he's uh, converted. He's going to convert to uh, to be a Muslim. He's converting right now, and he's looking after his missus, and she comes first now, and. Yeah, he's fully changed. It's, uh, he's not going to go to jail. He told me he's not going to go to jail anymore and no crime and all that stuff. It's, uh, no more. He's, uh, he's turned over a new leaf. But, uh, everyone comes and goes when it comes to hip hop. They take breaks or they move on with their lives and later on they want to meet their friends again. You know? Yeah. A Bloody Mary. Vodka, tomato juice, a couple of other things. I shouldn't be drinking, but uh, I've started it again. Started drinking. I stopped when I was about 30. I told Gain to stop. Gain to. When I when I was thirty, it was, it was me and Gain the exact same age. All kids, all kids growing up, and everyone was bigger than us. We were just kids. Everyone was older than us. I think there's only like three months difference. I'm three months older than Gain. There's hardly any difference. And, you know, uh, we're hanging out with teenagers and everyone was drinking. And we were kids. I'm not going to lie to anyone, but uh, we were kids. So, well, first generation still, first, first pioneers, but we're just young. When we got into the hip hop scene, the culture, you know, it was, uh, it was a fashion to have, go for a drink before you went to the yard. Before he went to any yard, no matter what yard it was, he'd go for a drink. And sometimes you wouldn't even go to the yard because you'd be too drunk to be, uh, 
You couldn't get to the yard because there's no more trains or there was no cars back then. Hardly anyone had a car. Gyron had a car from Newtown. Good old Gyron. He had a beautiful car. Yeah. He'd cruise around, take around everyone to all the yards, all the paint spots. He's uh, a cool guy. But yeah, I'm going to have to get some counselling about my drinking. It's uh, not a good thing. I've seen too many people suffer from it. My father suffered from it. Kept drinking and stuff, died early. Died of lung cancer. Both my parents died of lung cancer in the same year. But, uh, yeah, taking beers out of my dad's fridge as a teenager or as a kid because I hang around with teenagers and adults older than me that were drinking. So it's a big issue. And if you can stand off and have the courage to admit it and uh, let everyone know, well, that's the first step to recovery, you know. So I'll be trying my hardest tomorrow when I wake up in the morning, Monday, and to not drink. It's, uh, it's just crazy. It just... Uh, I haven't been to a birthday yet where there hasn't been alcohol. I haven't been to a funeral yet where there hasn't been alcohol. I haven't been to when people are painting legals, murals, that do not drink in alcohol. Like, uh, it's a big thing. It's, uh, you know, Australians are known for it, that we, uh, we consume more, drink more alcohol than anyone else in, say, America. 350 million Americans, more than, more than that. That's more than, more than them. 27 million Australians and we drink more than them. Like, that's nuts. That's just crazy. It's, uh, just abusing yourself. There's good things and there's bad things, and you want to try to do more good than bad. Always try to be a good person, show respect, give respect, like, say, like, Geno at the moment, he's killing it. Deal, Geno, Omen. They're absolutely killing it. They're doing heaps of damage. I stopped um, since last night. I went painting, but I stopped for uh, on my mother's birthday, I, the 28th of October, I'd done a, a, a Tracy 168 piece with um, arson and switch and we done that, that was the last time I painted, but I painted last night, so that makes it now 40 years of illegal graffiti and I haven't made one cent. 
and everyone's doing murals and the most popular place and the holy grail of sydney australia where the most has been done is uh, newtown that's the number one that's the number one place there's no bigger it's on wikipedia it shows every single new wall that gets painted every single wall but they miss one wall one wall they miss the first wall that ever got painted they miss it completely all those times that i painted it and it's not mentioned i think mr e's got uh like a wikipedia on newtown probably the most but he never paid his dues he never done anything um he he never done a tag on a train he never done a panel he never done a throw up uh, he got chased out of newtown by pic and rcf they all stole his paint and uh, robbed him of his paint so yeah a lot of people give him respect and all the things that he's done but uh, it's mural art that's all he's ever done He's, ne he's never paid his dues. Everyone's got to pay their dues before they do mural art. They just can't just go do murals. What claim to fame do, do they have? Did you got to do something? You know, it's ridiculous. It just, uh, I can't grasp it. I can't work it out like, uh, he took out uh, the music box at St. Peter's when uh, all the old writers stopped painting and all passed away. And uh, me and Fear wanted to paint the music box and seen the owner. And he said, oh, I've got this guy named Mystery, Mystery, he paints the wall. Do you know him? He's like, yeah, we know him. It's like, uh, here's his phone number and, and uh, I'll give you permission to paint the wall. Like, it's all good. And uh, we bring him up and we go to paint the wall and the owner says that uh, we're junkies. That we're junkies and we're thieves thieves and junkies i don't think i committed a crime or been a junkie my whole life i don't think so i'll, I'll admit to being an alcoholic but uh it's the same to the he's never had a cigarette he's never taken drugs uh, uh, he's not a junkie and uh, so he's going around and he's telling everyone, um, let me do murals for you. I'm a Christian um, because everyone else is a junkie. So he picks and chooses who paints the music box and he's got his own little crew. And uh, that's why I capped him. So, and capped a few of his shit and, and snooze and that uh, called me up and said, uh, can you make peace? And I said, yeah, oh, you know, like, uh, let him admit that he's never done any legal graffiti in his whole life. 
to start with. Write it on his Facebook. And uh, I won't cap him anymore. I'll leave him alone. And... Waited for the call, but uh, never got it. So I haven't kept you recently, but I think I might just put a list down, write a list of every single wall that he's ever painted and cap it in one night. That'd be fun. I would enjoy that. You know, like Cap from New York. He capped everyone. I got the inside word, word on Cap. He's real. He capped everyone and uh, he had his own places and, and uh, no one goes to his spots because you got to show respect. I painted walls, rolled walls where there was no graffiti and uh, I climbed the wall and no one painted it like, uh, same for like say RCF, Rock City Funk, Rock City Funk wall at St. Peter's. No one would paint that wall because it was owned by RCF. Um, the Gap at St. Peter's, Ricky Seven, RCF. No one would paint there. Only seven. Seven owned the wall. He's got all famous photos from that wall. You know, everyone loves him for it. And um, he done some incredible stuff at the Gap. You know, like, uh, that's definitely his spot. You can't take it away from him. That's a new generation got to realise that uh, past history of past wars and yards that people worked hard for, done a lot of damage, that uh, they definitely own those places. Like, you can listen to Star Wars and listen to Scheme's mother say, oh... You know, yucky, yucky, or you own nothing. You don't own no trains or yards or whatever. But, yeah. It's just showing respect. That's what the main thing is. Just respect. There's a wall close to where I live that I paint, and I painted it in 85. I rolled the wall and painted in 85, and, and no one went down there. Uh, I found out about the wall through my father taking me to a fishing spot, and I started in 84, so I was still pretty fresh, and, and uh, went down there, rolled the wall, and done a piece and my first tag was SPAC wasn't Razum it was SPAC that was my first tag but uh, I've got a lot of tags but yeah that was my first that was my first it's getting late I've had a long weekend I'm pretty tired Yeah. But uh, say a prayer for uh, Patty Asta from Wildstyle and Mr. Nice, RIP, and Mr. C's. For Big Daddy Kane, his DJ, Big Daddy Kane's DJ, passing away.
so many people dying. There's not much peace in the world. See what happens. It's all good. Catch you on the lines or trains, please.